Hello and welcome to Hindsight, the show that takes a look back at all of the good things going on in our school system. We'll start things off with a special kind of walk, the Louisiana Body Walk. Here we see students at Goche Elementary learning the skills and choices for a healthy lifestyle as they explore the large enclosure representing the human body. Many lectures and a take-home activity book to share with their families is all part of the learning and the fun, all stressing the importance of good nutrition and physical activity. This is a program we go, that goes through the PE curriculum where the kids get to um, learn about healthy diets and exercise and the body walk is the culmination of that for the kids with an in-school field trip where they get to go through and learn about um, how foods we eat affect um, their body and keep them healthy. The members of the New Orleans Ballet Association all know the value of being physically fit. Here we see some of the young dancers from our public schools at their open house, the culmination of several weeks of training and instruction. And speaking of dancing, congratulations to the Chalmette High School Charmers who were recently named as Louisiana State Champions. Here we see them practicing their routines that were part of their award-winning program. Director Jill Mitchell and the 29-member squad deserve the attention and the accolades as this team truly represents the best in teamwork, effort, and commitment. And their state-winning high kick routine is the subject for today's Hindsight Spotlight. And speaking of awards, congratulations to Davies Elementary School for recently being named as the Title I Distinguished School by the Louisiana State Department of Education. Davies is one of 59 schools throughout the country and only one of two in the state of Louisiana that received this distinction, being nationally recognized for exceptional student achievement in 2013. The award is testament that the school has successfully used its Title I federal funds to improve the education of its students. Only one of two schools in the state of Louisiana, so we are very, very honored for this award. And this is all due to a team effort here at Davies. We have an amazing staff that is truly dedicated to the success of our students. As instructional coach at Davies, I'm very thankful for all the resources and support that Title I affords our entire student body. We are honored to have been recognized two years in a row for our academic success. But at Davies, we want every day to be a success. Congratulations to everyone at Davies. 
Oh, and speaking of congratulations, it's now time to meet one of this year's Teachers of the Year. Let's head over to our alternative school and hear more about this outstanding educator from CF Raleigh Principal, Julie Gennard. Hi, my name is Julie Gennard. I'm the principal at CF Raleigh Alternative School. It is my great pleasure to introduce this year's uh, Teacher of the Year from Raleigh 2013-2014, Miss Kathy Turnage. Kathy has worked with me for many years. We were co-workers at St. Bernard High School when she was a teacher and I was a teacher. And then it was my great pleasure to have her as my teacher, as a principal. She is fabulous with kids. She cares a lot. Most importantly though, she is able to get them to reach higher academic skills than anybody thought possible. I'm Kathy Turnage. Um, I do several things at Raleigh. I'm a special ed teacher. I teach a G, I also teach GED English class. Um, <clears throat> I'm also the 504 person, so I take care of all the 504 plans for students who are 504 here. Um, I am also the SAT chairperson, so when students are having either academic or behavior problems that um, don't seem to be getting resolved or getting better, then I'll refer them to the SAT committee and we'll determine um, what course of action to take, what interventions, sometimes um, to the point of putting them into an eval. I think um, all good teachers need to have perseverance, um, a belief in students that you can make a difference and you know sometimes change the course of their life. Um, I think they um, have to have a willingness to work hard <laughs> for little money. <laughs> um, I think uh, an open mind too to all the new things that are coming out, you know. Um, each and every year, I mean, like we had professional development yesterday. Uh, it was it was a great experience for me. I mean, I learned a lot, um, and so you know, you being willing to try these things, um, I think is important. That when new things come about, that you you know you might think everything's going fine, but you know, new could be better, and you won't know if you don't try. My um, GED students, you know, um, I'm hoping that they get a diploma this year. Definitely, you know, um, with um, my my special ed. Hopefully, you know, if they're successful with the plans we have made through their IEP. You know, that they're better um, educated and you know, or on a steady course to succeeding educationally and in life. You know. Um, not all of them get diplomas in special ed, but hopefully we've given them the skills they need to be successful out there in life. I guess the teachers I had along the way, you know, um, more so, um, I can't say, you know, it seemed like each and every aspect along the way, middle school, elementary, high school, you just ran into teachers that inspired you. And, you know, to make a difference in kids' lives, to think, you know, that you're willing to, you know, do the hard work, spend the time, um, learning to be a better teacher each and every year, and being open-minded to trying these things. But, um, you know, just to make a difference. Oh, I love the technology that we are provided with. You know, after the storm I taught, um, someplace not in St. Pedroy Parish for a short period of time and um, I, I, I would compare you know where I went to and it wasn't a, a bad people or a bad place but it was like you know in a Wizard of Oz landing in the forest with the monkeys and then coming back here was like the land of Oz I mean you know we're just so lucky really that the parish does provide us with such great support to make teaching you know, as effective as it can be. It was interesting to students and, you know, um, I, I just can't say enough about that. I would like to thank the faculty and staff of CF Raleigh School for naming me Teacher of the Year. Bye-bye.
Also shining brightly was the stained glass panels on display at two St. Bernard iconic buildings. Faith Moran, a former teacher and a worker for the tourism office, shared with visitors some of the history and inspiration behind the artwork. This exhibit was just part of the many things taking place in St. Bernard as part of the annual Battle of New Orleans celebration. In 1812, New Orleans experienced a horrific fire. The monastery um, in New Orleans was in danger of burning. Uh, the nuns took the statue of Our Lady of Crumsucker to the window and prayed very hard that she would spare the monastery from the fire. And now we'll go from stained glass to painted fences as we check out the mischievous Tom Sawyer in The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Produced by the members of CHS Live, Shaman High School's Drama Club, the show is a classic and comedic look at one of the most beloved characters in American literature and his wise cracking sidekick, Huck Finn. Hook will be known as Hook Finn, the bloody hand. Got your official time. That's exciting. We've got to have a countersign, too. Oh, I've got that all fixed. What is it? Have you? Blood! Ah! 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 I don't have a story. It's not fair. Remember what you and me was talking about the other day, Becky? Well, sort of, Tom. Well, I've got something I want to whisper to you. Have you, Tom? What is it? Tom Sawyer, you naughty thing! Why, shucks. It ain't naughty to tell a girl that you engage to that you love her. There ain't nothing naughty about that. Well, I don't like it, that's all. Well, maybe you like this better than you. <laughs> Congratulations to the talented students on stage and behind the scenes for bringing this production to life. And speaking of talent, Shamat High School's Callie Lambert, a gifted athlete and vocalist, was the latest guest on Champs, our latest Penn TV program that showcases the artists, musicians, and performers at Shamat High. And joining us in the studio was my co-host, Sydney Evans, a student of the TV production class. Let's take a look. What is it that you enjoy so much about performing, about being up on the stage and in front of everybody? I just love it. It's a real rush, and you have to make the audience think that you are the person performing. You have to own the stage and make everyone pay attention to you, and it's just a great feeling. And now let's meet our parish-wide high school teacher of the year. She's a teacher and a coach at Shelmet High, and to tell us more about her, here is CHS principal, Mr. Wayne Warner. Jennifer Joria is a well-liked teacher by her fellow teachers and also by her students. She brings her subject, which is Latin, to life for them, and the students really enjoy her class. Jennifer's an excellent coach. She's extremely organized. She's a great team player herself as far as with the faculty. And it's our privilege to have her as our Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Jennifer Joya, uh, Parish-wide Teacher of the Year, St. Bernard Parish. And I am the Latin teacher over at Shalmet High and also head cross-country coach, boys and girls, and head a head soccer coach for the girls. I, I want my students to be able to uh, certainly survive college or uh, the workforce and, and or both, uh, whatever they uh, decide they want to do, uh, but they also need to be able to see more than just the, the subject I teach. Uh, they need to be able to reach across the curriculum and see the interrelatedness 
uh, between subjects, uh, between life, between school, between work, uh, between family, friends, neighborhood. It's all it's all connected. And also, um, I want them to be able to come to become intellectual beings. At first. Uh, it certainly can be very helpful for people going into the medical field uh, and of course this doesn't just encompass becoming a doctor um, uh, because so many of the medical terms out there um, are Latin based uh, or Greek based. Um, also uh, going into law, um, Latin can certainly help and um, any, any science field it's also useful. Uh, but also, sometimes um, it, it's a great option for students who, who want to know more, who want to know more about the, the history of the world, and um, even our own country today has been highly influenced by the Romans. Um, and, you know, that's important for them to see the connection. Our cross-country team, uh, we were very successful this year in that um, we won a district title individually for the boys and also individually for the girls as well as team titles for both boys and girls. And this was tremendous uh, considering the rough start we had to the season. Uh, we were actually in a situation where we went three full weeks without competition, which is extremely rare. Uh, during cross-country season. Sometimes it, it, you know, we may be affected by maybe uh, one storm where one meet is canceled, uh, but we actually had um, several canceled, but still we worked really hard and it was wonderful to watch uh, the athletes see the results of their hard work. In athletics in particular, it's important for students to be involved because they have an outlet. Um, they have an opportunity, uh, in particular for cross country, to run some miles and run it off if it's been a bad day or um, if it's been a good day and there are tests coming up, um, long distance running can actually aid in uh, retention um, of what they study because we've got so much blood flow going uh, to the brain and th that can work wonders with the students. So it can be a great pairing as well. Well, I've enjoyed teaching in St. Bernard because it's actually giving me an opportunity to um, thank some of the wonderful teachers that I've had over the years and the wonderful colleagues I've had the pleasure to work with. Um, I do have to say and begin with, um, I knew a lot about uh, classroom teaching already uh, even before uh, I went to college because my mother um, has been in the school system for so long and um, you know I remember helping her set up her classroom uh, when I was a child and helping her staple papers um, and that was an interesting experience. Um, but it was also an opportunity for me uh, when, you know, when I came back to AJ as a teacher, um, I really get to thank the people who had helped me so much. Another person who comes to mind is Denise Cooper. Uh, when I was in her world uh, history class uh, as a sophomore, I remember her talking about uh, the concept of the Renaissance man, and I remember sitting in class thinking, hmm, why can't there be a Renaissance woman? And that stuck with me, you know, from that time forward that, uh, you know, why, why can't I go out and do, and do multiple things? And it's exhausting, but I got to see the light um, with some of those great teachers around me. And then to go work with them uh, was fantastic. and then to come over to Chalmette uh, post-Katrina and meet up uh, with some of them again was also fantastic. Um, and also to meet new people uh, from St. Bernard High and as well people from Chalmette as well. We've made, I think, a really nice transition um, and a community of people willing to work together. And that's what makes a, a great teacher, people learning to come together and work together and we have a lot of great teachers who have survived uh, pre-Katrina and post-Katrina and we're here.
I would like to thank all my influences over the years who have helped make me who I am and I would really like to thank very deeply uh, the faculty of Shaman High School for making me Teacher of the Year. Thanks so much. This is yours too. Congratulations to Jennifer Joy and keep up the good work and we'll meet more of our outstanding educators on our next hindsight. Oh, and speaking of outstanding, Senator J.P. Morrell visited two of our schools recently to present Kindles to outstanding writers at both Goche and Araby. I'm so excited to be here today at Araby Elementary School. I'm handing out the first of two Kindles to great young writers in St. Bernard Parish who responded to my request for essays for their greatest holiday memories. And now we'll go from a senator to some presidents as we check out the action at the most recent game in this year's academic game season. Nunez educator Catherine Lemoyne served as the guest reader for the day, testing the students' knowledge on the leaders of yesteryear. There is one more game left this season as the players gear up for the national tournament this spring. Good luck. Helping our students grow is at the heart of what we do, but so is keeping them safe. And with that in mind, bus drivers from across the district recently attended a pair of professional development sessions. While teachers and administrators were focused on improving teaching practices, the drivers were learning some important information of their own. Trains moving at 55 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour through the network. Amtrak runs, again, on the same track. It's tough to tell from headlights, especially at night, if it's an Amtrak moving at 60, or if it's a switcher, you know, to pull your job moving at 10 miles an hour. So don't get caught in that. Come to a police stop, look both ways, get a perspective. And now it's time for some big news. We're happy to recognize our two newest parish wide students of the year. At the elementary division from Joe Davies is Emma Nunez, and the middle school student of the year from Andrew Jackson is Tommy Hall. They join our high school winner, Callie Lambert. Congratulations to you three on representing your schools and our district so well and good luck in the upcoming state level competition. Excellence in education was also the focus of a recent event at Andrew Jackson Middle School. Here we see students being inducted into the Junior Beta Society, a true honor for these hardworking and deserving students. Nice job, Colonels. They have garnered outstanding academic achievement. Additionally, they demonstrate exemplary leadership qualities. They also conduct community service. Overall, they are extraordinary individuals who will certainly prove to be societal assets in the future. Our school board members also deserve a hand for lending a hand in cafeterias throughout the district as part of the Legislative Shadowing Week, a chance to highlight the child nutrition program. Here we see our leaders preparing and serving food to our students. Well, that would do it for this edition of Hindsight, but before we go, we're going to take a look at some of the highlights from a recent dance performance taking place at the Shamit Cultural Arts Center. The members of the Shamet High School dance class and the after school program are all part of the Contemporary Dance Company under the direction of CHS faculty member Jessica Gorberty. Thanks for tuning in and remember the next time you take a look back you might just see us there because hindsight is always 2020 and we'll see you next time.